When we address the cardiovascular system, we're really mostly referring to the emergency situation where a horse has a large wound where the arterial blood supply has been compromised. Natural mechanisms are very, very effective at slowing down blood flow, even from arteries. But if it's a large artery, uh, you're going to recognize it as blood spurting from a wound with every heartbeat. If you have veins that are lacerated, which are going to be lacerated in any wound, that's more an oozing of blood from a wound. So if you're seeing blood spurting from a wound, you know it's an artery. Horses have a huge volume of circulating blood. So even with an arterial bleeder, the odds that the horse is going to bleed to death are very, very low. But you do want to control that hemorrhage. So that's where you need to have some proficiency with bandage application, get some form of counter pressure over that wound to stop the hemorrhage until you can get more professional intervention. With regards to the eyes, horses are such a, a visual animal and it's a big part of their flight mechanism. And horses that compete in many different events really need both eyes to be successful competitors. The horse's eye is unusual in a way in that when it becomes inflamed, the inflammatory process is quite severe. And if it isn't controlled early, even if you retain the eye structure, you retain the globe, often you can end up with a, a situation with blindness. So most veterinarians consider eye or ocular emergencies where you have a lot of swelling, the eyelids closed, to be an emergency so that you can start to get control of that inflammatory process and preserve the long-term function of the eye. There are some general symptoms that you may see in your horse that will ultimately require veterinary attention. Horse owners are always well tuned into their horse's eating habits. So if over a period of two to three days your horse is largely off feed or just becoming a picky eater, there's a reason for that and if it persists over that time period, uh, you really need to get it investigated. Uh, horse owners are very good at taking temperatures and uh, one of the first signs that's checked is a temperature in a horse that seems to be a little off. If you have a persistent fever in an adult horse of greater than 101 degrees, that's a low grade fever and they can develop much higher fevers, but if it persists at over 101, you should also get veterinary attention to investigate that further. There would be other situations that, that we haven't covered here that will require attention, but we've kind of put them in a hierarchy of most important to less important. Uh, and again, I think it's important you establish a relationship with your veterinarian where if you have questions on a particular case, you can get some answers that will help you out down the road should you see those same signs again.